Hi, my name is Tiberius and I'm with Sensorica, which is a pilot project for Commons-based peer production focused on hardware, hardware development, hardware production and distribution all in a peer-to-peer -peer way. And I want to say I'm very, very happy uh, and honored to be part of um, this workshop, um, the Impact Economy workshop organized at the beginning of October 2015. I'm making this short video to answer some questions that have been proposed by uh, some participants in, the, uh, in this workshop. Um, and the role of the video is to get to know each other a little bit before we meet in person. Uh, the idea is to be a little bit more effective when we're there because we get to know each other and understand a little better how to collaborate. That's why we're uh, meeting. Yes, I'm very, very concerned by the state of the world today. I started to be concerned uh, back in 2008 when I woke up to a new reality. Um, everybody remembers the financial collapse um, that started in the United States. I was actually working in San Francisco um, and um, was a very difficult time and and not just for uh, the population in North America, but this spread like a wildfire uh, due to the interdependency uh, of um, financial systems and uh, caused great economic damage. Um, so uh, that was a wake up call for me. I realized for the first time that the system is unstable. And so, um, I started to see uh, the new trends that were already um, around us. Um, started to uh, understand the power of the open source movement, the power of open innovation. I started to understand the role of the uh, new digital technology, the internet, and all these applications that have been built on top. Uh, to empower individuals uh, and also to uh, facilitate the formation of collaborative groups. Um, open source software development um, was there for us to see how uh, this happens. Then we had other communities like Wikipedia showing how people can co-create um, something other than just code, um, put knowledge together, create a sort of a uh, people's encyclopedia and from my working experience um, in a laser company near San Francisco I put one and one together and uh, realized that the same um, infrastructure can actually help people uh, build uh, not just software or not just information products but also um, physical products so I started to work on a new economic model whereby uh, individuals from around the world can come together, uh, design hardware products, uh, and then I moved uh, forward to understand how the same kind of organizations that are distributed and uh, that are uh, uh, so distributed and decentralized. Uh, can move into production, distribution, and servicing of these these products. So it was a wake-up call, and I saw these trends, and I uh, started to understand that something is possible. Uh, and I stopped doing what I was doing, uh, my professional life, essentially, and um, jumped off the boat and and went uh, right there to um, to. Uh, build these new platforms for collaboration for peer-to-peer uh, -peer hardware production. Um, it, it was a sacrifice um, that I had to do uh, because I was, I did understand that the, the uh, state of the world was uh, very weak um, and uh, not to say unjust. I think these are um, very interrelated. Uh, there cannot be a strong unjust wor world out there. Do I think that uh, things uh, can turn around? Obviously. Um, so after my waking up and understanding the uh, state of the world, I uh, immediately 
um, started to analyze these new patterns, um, which now we call peer-to-peer -peer patterns. And so I saw here a salvation. I saw a, a new society coming together uh, that um, had the potential to um, bring prosperity um, to the world, um, had the potential to replace the actual economy uh, in a way that um, uh, people didn't have to suffer. Um, so it is a viable economic solution. Um, and uh, not only that, but a solution that puts the individual at the center, individuals as seen as a member, uh, indiv the individual being seen as a member of a community. Uh, so now we're talking about sharing, about collaboration. Um, there's other spin-offs that come from peer production and open source development through the transparency, uh, which is where we can't lie about our products. We can't make products anymore that um, are programmed for obsolescence. Uh, we can't make products anymore that damage the environment because they are built in a collaborative manner and in a transparent manner. So I not only saw a uh, viable economic system, but also a more just and a more equitable, a more sustainable economic system that, uh, that was emerging. Uh, so I do think we can change things around. The problem is that um, if we're looking at the world today, I think we're seeing on one side a, an economic collapse. Um, it's very clear in Europe and it's starting to be more and more clear in the United States. It's going to become even more clear once the new bubble that has been created since 2008 will burst. Uh, and the question is, um, as this implosion happens, uh, are we able to build a new vessel? Are we able to build a new infrastructure that can contain all these, um, all these people that will find themselves uh, not being able to uh, pay for their necessities uh, operating in, in the old capitalist system? I think I um, am a very active agent in turning things around and the project that I'm heavily involved in, Sensorica, which is this pilot project for commons-based peer production of hardware, um, is uh, my way to uh, turn things around. So uh, this is my prescription. Um, for changing the world. Uh, other people work on education, they work on alternative currencies, um, uh, people work on the culture around us. Uh, I think all these elements are very, very important. They're um, important building blocks of a new society. Um, so the question is not as simple as what are you going to do tomorrow to change the world or to turn things around. The question is how do we come together uh, and, and coordinate our efforts in order to bring this puzzle uh, together, okay? Have these little functional parts uh, feed into each other um, uh, hand in glove. So my work uh, is about um, designing new organizations, uh, understanding how people can work together in a collaborative way, um, implementing these new organizations. Uh, so I'm very active at the infrastructure level, being building tools for collaboration, being tool building tools for co-creation, um, designing of hardware, uh, and um, coordinating projects, uh, building methodologies, uh, open project development methodologies, um, peer production, uh, platforms that help with organizing uh, production of something, uh, from managing the supply chain, inventory, and so on. I work in collaboration with um, Bob and, and Lean and, and other people around the world to design these, these new tools and, and these new methodologies that sit on top of them. Um, I also have um, a passion for uh, governance, so um, how do you bring people together and uh, 
um, set up the rules, the norms um, around their activities um, so that they become very effective as, as collaborators, as peers. The governance, I think, it's a very important role. I also had a big role with Sensorica in designing um, new legal systems. Um, how do you operate uh, as, as, as a network, as a peer-to-peer -peer network for uh, peer production of hardware? There's all kinds of problems uh, in this area. Uh, we have to manage the space, we have to manage tools, equipment, uh, we have to you know, manage the use of materials. Um, as products and services are designed and produced, then we have to deliver them to those who need. So we're talking about markets, so how do you interface with the market as a decentralized organization um, from the legal perspective. So we had to uh, sort of hack the legal system in order to carve our little space in this world in the transition. Uh, so I was very passionate about that side of, of the things uh, too. In order to continue the work that we have been uh, doing for the past almost five years, within Sensorica and collaborating with other organizations, I think we need events like Impact Economy uh, that uh, bring people together um, and forge these relationships, um, widens our understanding of uh, what everybody's doing um, in order to coordinate uh, whatever it is that we create, that we produce, to put it together uh, into this, this new puzzle, which is a new functioning world. We need to talk about it, we need to meet, we need to work together. Uh, we need to weave these, these collaborative relationships, right? We, we need to know of each other. Um, also, uh, more resources. Uh, all these projects need more resources. Uh, they need people uh, to get involved in different projects, uh, people with different skills. Um, for example, Sensorica is about hardware production in a peer-to-peer -peer way, but when you talk about hardware production, people tend to uh, hear only the technical part of it, uh, you know, electronic systems, electronic boards, so you need some technical skills. Well, um, all the functions that are within a corporation, you can find their equivalent in a system of peer production. Uh, so if you talk about marketing, well, you find the outreach function within a network. People need to know what you're doing. People need to know what you're producing. Uh, so somehow we need to get the word out. We need to uh, have people um, know that we exist, uh, understand what our needs are, and understand how to help us, and, and then what they can get from uh, a network like Sensorica. Um, if you think about management, in a corporation, well, we also have facilitation and coordination in a network like Sensorica. So we need people in all these spheres of activities, um, on top of just uh, you know technical work, uh, legal advice, accounting, finance, and so on. Human resources, and um, well, we need other types of resources too. Uh, as we live and evolve in this transition economy, um, you know, we have to rent a space. Uh, and um, the only way to rent a space, the only way to have a space in a city is to use the old dollar to pay for the rent. Um, so yes, we need money in this transition. Um, we need to buy equipment, we need to buy materials. Um, so the community is, is starting to generate revenue to sustain itself more and more. Uh, but in order to scale the model, I think we need more resources. Um, I think we are uh, today at a very important turning point uh, for commons-based peer production. Uh, we saw the emergence of the sharing economy, um, which, you know, it's very debatable. People think about the sharing economy um, not necessarily as Uber is set up and Airbnb is set up, which is platform capitalism or as Michel Bounds. Um, calls it uh, Natashi capitalism, uh, which is a monopolization of a platform and extra that extracts rent from <coughs> from uh, users that engage in <coughs> peer to peer exchange of all sorts. Um, but anyway, so the sharing economy spread there are very nice examples which are more grassroots, sharing tools, sharing land, 
um, in a city for having you know activities like urban gardening and so on. Um, so there are some non-for-profit or um, uh, organizations or organizations that have a more democratic uh, governance uh, that that take a, a, a pretty important space in this in this sharing economy. Well, 2015, 2016. Uh, I believe um, the peer production will become mainstream. So we're um, essentially ra rushing against the clock here to make the models uh, that we designed uh, scalable uh, and, uh, and reproducible. Okay? Uh, so we would like to have the Sensorica network uh, take a more important role in the local and global economy but also we would like other people to organize like us and, and start to interface in a, in a, in a larger global, uh, in a larger network, a network of networks. Um, <clears throat> so we believe this, this model uh, has a future, it's just the beginning uh, and we need a lot of resources. Um, as the classical economy is uh, essentially uh, melting down, as it is collapsing, we have to build this new ship and so we need uh, we need resources to make this reproducible and scalable as fast as, as we can. Uh, and um, it's happening. It's happening as we transition into the, the new year. Um, and also part of the resources that we, uh, we uh, would like to uh, get in, in the short term um, is um, substantial funding. Uh, we're looking for uh, something in the order of um, half a million dollar, a million dollar, in order to um, scale our operations in Montreal, um, have a lab that has a, a huge capacity and a lot of visibility that can um, can take in um, people that are desperately looking for a job. Uh, they can set up their projects or get involved in existing projects. Um, and we also need to, uh, apart from the physical infrastructure, we need to invest more in the virtual infrastructure, uh, which is uh, uh, the virtual spaces where we come together to collaborate uh, and, and manage our processes and our resources. Um, they need a proper user interface in order to be able to become uh, usable by, by everybody else, everybody who wants to participate in this new economy. And also, we need to polish our model at the legal level, accounting level, and finance level. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, as, as we're getting close to the tipping point, we do need a lot of resources um, by the end of the year. At the summit, I think uh, my goal is to, first of all, um, work and be very productive with all these people that are there and fulfill our mission to find a uh, proper model for uh, the citizen media. I think um, that is my first focus and my first goal and the process, uh, going through that with a very concrete um, and tangible uh, mission uh, will help us forge even stronger relationships, uh, will help us in context um, understand each other at a deeper level, understand how our work in different areas can come together uh, on, around something very, very concrete. Um, other than that, uh, once we deliver what we have to deliver, uh, and once we realize who we are and how we can work together and how our different skills and expertise can come together to produce something that works. Um, what I'm looking forward to is to go back home and continue to build on these relationships. Uh, go back to our places and continue to collaborate. What does Sensorica need? What does uh, these people, what do these people that work on alternative currencies or cryptocurrencies need? How these can, how we can help each other, how we can influence each other, how we can come together and build a larger platform that is more coherent uh, and can hold together. Because in the end we all are building a, a new economy um, and, and the testing time, I think, it's approaching very, very, very fast. Um, we 
don't have the luxury of time uh, to go through many iterations. Uh, it has to come together and hold together. Well, I have a lot of questions, and, and the more you know about this transition, um, the more you know about how the new world is coming together, the more questions you have. So, uh, I think there's a lot of important questions. Um, I don't think I have a specific one, and I will do injustice to other very important questions if I just pick one or two. Uh, so, I'm going to pass the one. I think it's very important to communicate um, to society what, what we're building, what we're doing. Um, we've been building um, commons-based peer production models for the past uh, four years, almost five years. And um, I think as society transitions and these peer-to-peer -peer patterns become more apparent in people's lives, um, there is an understanding uh, that people build. So it's very, it's much easier today to explain commons based peer production than it was three, four, five years ago. Um, we should put more effort into um, telling the story and, and um, explaining the big picture and explaining all these little components. Um, in the end, I think it's by experiencing it. Um, I think the making it more understandable is mainly towards um, telling people that there is an alternative that is uh, emerging, uh, that there is a new parallel world already uh, built that they might not see it, uh, and then incite them um, to get a taste of it. Okay, try this, try that, go to visit that fab lab, um, get involved in some community activities, get involved in some open source projects, um, see how it works, see how it is, and I think the best learning experience is learning by doing. Um, as more and more initiatives um, are created, uh, more and more opportunities for people are created to get a, a sense of it. Um, so, I encourage every one of us uh, not just to tell and explain, but also to invite people, show them where to go based on their interests. Um, you want to learn more about how to collaborate on, on software? Well, here's a co-working space where people meet every week and, and that's what they do. You want to see how um, new objects will be produced in the future, go to this fab lab and they'll tell you about 3D printing and they'll probably also show you about how people collaboratively design new objects uh, and where to find it on the internet, um, how to modify it for your needs and so on and so on. And if you want to make something yourself, where to share it with others, okay? Um, yeah, so I think, I think uh, also what we need to do, uh, a part education is pointing where to go and and um, experience it. If I had a magic wand, um, I would invite to the summit everyone who's involved into building something meaningful for the new economy. Um, I think the goal here is to work together uh, on a very concrete and specific project and this is going to be a great experience. Um, I wouldn't invite people that just want to learn about what is that we're building. I think that's another conversation to have. Um, I would just reserve this event for those who know what they're doing. Uh, because I think there is, um, there is a need for us to come together. There is a need for us to understand who we are, how we work, what we know and what we need. Um, so I would mainly focus on, on that, create an event for the builders first. Um, with enough transparency, 
to show the world how we work together and what we are about to um, give to the world. Well, uh, this event is mainly focused on economy, so I think we need some people that um, are focused on value exchange systems and, and um, systems of value production uh, for the main part. Um, also, people that play an important role in the media, which, which would be the sort of the outreach arm of this economic activity, letting people know uh, what projects need uh, and what they have to offer. Um, and in order to increase the level of participation, in order to uh, ensure that what we're building responds to uh, somebody's needs, so there's a market out there, and then to let people know that we've built that thing, so they, come, they can come and get it, or do it themselves, or uh, anything else. So uh, these, are, these are main components, I think, in the ecosystem that we want to build, um, outreach, finance, and, and production, and innovation. Um, but throughout my experience with Sensorica, um, I noticed that culture and education also are very, very important. Um, people that come for the first time in a collaborative environment, they look like immigrants in a new country. They don't understand the grammar of uh, these uh, new exchanges, these new relations, right? Um, they don't know why it's important to share early, um, why it's important to um, ask for help, to um, be open to constructive criticism, uh, why it is important to be able to put yourself in other people's shoes, um, how to use certain tools, timing, um, um, why socialize our work, uh, showing others, the whole world, using social media to show people what you did today and where you want to go tomorrow. You know, people come with um, their habits that they have integrated within a, a corporate environment that has a totally different dynamic. Um, so I think one of the biggest problems that we have in all the collaborative systems that we put together is culture, okay, which is an integration of um, why things are done this way. Okay, you don't have to think about it, you don't have to rationalize it. Uh, it's integrated, it's in your culture. It becomes a second nature, right? So that's very important. Um, education also um, we need to to educate kids um, to work in a different way uh, to see the world in a different way uh, to understand um, how to work collaboratively um, how to use the tools that are required to work collaboratively at a global scale in immersed in global networks um, we need to uh, teach them about sustainability, uh, which is actually embedded in our design processes. Uh, so education is also very important. Um, the education system is fine-tuned to produce workers um, for uh, corporations uh, or for govern governments or other public institutions. Um, we are now building a participatory economy. Uh, a collaborative economy, so all of a sudden we need a new individual. Uh, so, although I would like to see this focused on economy, finance and outreach, because that's the mandate that we have for this summit, uh, which is a workshop, um, uh, I would, I would uh, feed this information to people that work on education and culture. Um, there is other spheres, other type of communities that are also important, but let's keep it to the essential for now. What motivates me to do the work I'm doing? I think um, I can do my little part to make a difference. Um, I also have a lot of satisfaction working with people that um, see the same trends, see the change, understand the importance of what we're doing. Um, so it's, it's, it's a personal satisfaction to work with people that think alike. Um, and well, in the end, I think what we're doing is really, really important. Um, and uh, I just don't want to go through life um, 
without without uh, having a sense of accomplishment. Thank you.